Welcome back to day 22 of 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're diving into one of the most disturbing, mind-bending horror films out there. 2011's The Skin I Live In. And you got that big, white, wrinkly body on top of you with this loose skin and old balls. Gross. Now, this is not your typical horror flick, but trust me, it will get under your skin. Oh, hell yeah! It's psychological, twisted, and creepy in ways that will leave you thinking about it long after the credits roll. So what makes The Skin I Live In such a hidden gem? For starters, this movie takes the idea of a body horror and cranks it up to a whole new level of fucked up. It's not just about gore or scares, it's about control, obsession, and what happens when somebody takes these things to extremes. The film follows Dr. Robert Ledgard, a plastic surgeon played by Antonio Baderes, who's experimenting with synthetic skin, but let's just say he's not exactly doing it for the greater good of humanity. This film is unique because it mixes horror with high art. Pedro Almodovar gives us a beautifully shot film that looks like a psychological horror at first glance. But don't be fooled, there's real horror lurking beneath the surface. And as the story unfolds, you realize just how twisted Dr. Lagarde's plans are. It's a slow burn, but the tension builds up with every scene. And when the full picture comes together, holy shit! It's equal parts fascinating and horrifying. The skin I live in doesn't rely on cheap scares or jump out of your seat moments. Instead, it gets inside your head. It's about the fear on a deeper level. Fear of losing control over your own body, fear of manipulation, and fear of what happens when science is pushed way past ethical limits. The psychological horror in this film is what makes it stand out, and that's why it's such a hidden gem. The performances are absolutely killer too. Antonio Banderas is chilling as Dr. Leggard, and Elena Anaya, who plays Vera, is incredible as a woman caught in the web of obsession and terror. The dynamic between them is unsettling to say the least. Every look, every moment of silence between them is filled with tension and dread. In a nutshell, The Skin I Live In is a unique blend of psychological horror and body horror, wrapped in a beautiful haunting package. It's not your typical slasher or ghost story, it's something far more disturbing. And if you haven't seen it, you're missing out on a horror gem that's truly one of a kind. Jokes on you, I'm into that shit. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.